Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 5, Episode 6, 7 review. Okay, the show starts off where it ended up last week when Kenya was asking Frazier, Hey, if you can get Apollo any gift, which two of your friends would you basically allow him to sleep with? And that's when all of the Southern Bell that was inside of Phaedra came out. She's like, you better go on somewhere with that BS. I ain't for that. You better go on somewhere. I don't play when it come to my man. You better keep your paws to yourself or we get to fight. And she basically keep on. I'm going I'm to cut you. So, yeah, then... Kenya went on and said, oh, that was just joking. I didn't really mean it. But Faith is like, you don't joke like that with somebody's man. Meanwhile, Walter's just sitting over there like, okay, how much longer do I have to pretend to be this girl's boyfriend? Because it's looking bad on me now. Because I'm not saying nothing about her flirt when every man that walks by. So, Nene, ever so politely, is like, are y'all really in a relationship? Because y'all don't act like it. And can you say, oh, yeah, we in a relationship, we love each other, and he's like, mm, okay, if you say so. So, Greg was like, everybody, y'all go freshen up. I'm finna cook y'all a nice, fabulous dinner. Okay. Everybody comes back. Greg's cooking. Everybody eats. At one point, the men, they go off into a little huddle, and Peter's like, hey, tomorrow um, I'm renewing my vows with Cynthia. Our first wedding didn't go too well because her mama and her sister was plotting to hold a marriage license because they don't like me. So now, she, we've always wanted to get married in Anguilla, so here's the time. This is a secret. She don't know nothing about this. Basically, keep your mouth closed. So, the lady's like, I wonder what's going on over there. Kenya, she's already in her mind. Oh, my goodness. Walter must want to be want to propose early. You came to that conclusion even though y'all in a fake relationship? Okay, we're going to play along with that. So, everybody's around the table discussing their romances with their men. And over here, this way, Walter and Kenya are looking ever so uncomfortable sitting next to each other like, uh, we have no stories to tell. Everybody else is telling even Nene. She didn't she wasn't acting as, as uptight about this this the topic of sex as she was last season. You didn't mention sex and Nene. She's like, Oh Lord, no, not sex. But she was like, I ain't had and Peter at one point said, you know, if after such a beautiful day, if you didn't have sex, something wrong with y'all. And he's like, I was up for two days. I ain't got time for that. You better go somewhere and sit down and take a nap. Kenyon Walters still looking uncomfortable. So, Marsha pulls her to the side. And like, hey, she's like, oh my goodness. Is this, this it? I'm scared. What's going on? Is he going to propose? Okay, we going to continue to play this game, which is called Kenyon's World. Remember that. Walt was like, hey, Peter going to, you know, renew his vows with Cynthia tomorrow. She know nothing about this. She's like, oh, that's wonderful. But I wish it was me. But okay. So, the ladies are getting pampered, getting their nails done and makeup. Again, Nene's like, hey, you sure you don't want to in a relationship? Oh, yeah, we're in a relationship. We just, you know. He's very, you know, kept to himself. He doesn't really, you know, very talkative of all that stuff. And he's like, okay. Portia comes in. Kenya and Portia, they don't really have too many words. Portia's like, long that girl don't say nothing to me. I'm cool. We're going to leave it at that. Portia leaves. Wonder where Cynthia's at. We don't know. So, ladies, they go get their massage. Yet again, Nene's like, I don't know, can y'all the relationship just don't seem right. And Kenya goes into the fence, you know, Walter, I wouldn't be with a man who doesn't want to be with me. I'm not going to be with no man who ain't got no job. I'm paraphrasing now, y'all. Y'all know how I do. Who's a ladies' man? And, oh, hold up. Isn't Walter a ladies' man? That's the word on Atlanta. That's what I've been hearing. I don't live in Atlanta, but all people I've been watching that has been discussed this Walter King situation it's like Walter is a ladies man he's not one for just you know he likes to date nothing wrong with that because he's single so I'm trying to figure out why Kenya picked him to be her pretend boyfriend now it was wrong no matter what who she picked 
why are you gonna pick somebody who's known to being multi and you know known to you know be on the dating team and ain't nobody ever seen them with you so Nene's like okay we gonna make this one side I know they ain't in a relationship I can tell can't tell me no difference you can sit up and lie to me all you want can you but something ain't right with y'all so the ladies there on their boat it's gonna be a white party so the dude, the men, they are already at the little place where they're gonna get married at on some island. Cynthia, she's already on. What's going on? Is it over there? I see some stuff. Is there gonna be food? I guess it's gonna be in that green tent over there. And I just knew Kenya was gonna say so. I did. I knew she was like, "Oh my goodness, Cynthia, you're gonna be so surprised when Peter wants to renew your vows." I knew she was gonna say nothing. I knew she was gonna say something. I just knew it. Couldn't tell me no different. But she kept her mouth shut. So they get there. Prime Minister is supposed to be there. Candy, she's trying to check to see if, you know, since it's figured out yet. So they're up walking. Each dude, they take their lady. Peter goes up to Cynthia. Somebody gives her some flowers. She's like, hold up. What about the other ladies? And then he's like, you know, we're here to renew our vows. She was like happy, but she's one of the people I do not like to surprise. Do not pull no no me. Do not do that. So she's already at Nene and Kane, like, oh my goodness, y'all knew this. But it turned out to be a lovely evening for them getting to get remarried or renew their vows. The craziness didn't start so when all the ladies were together. They were relaxing and chilling, having a good time. Nobody's fighting as of yet. And so. They're talking, and Portia's like, hey, Kenya, you're actually surprising me. You were not like this when we first met, so it was kind of throwing me off. Yeah, I can kind of like, I kind of like that about you. So Nene wants to know, okay, what is this that made y'all fall out? You know, Portia, she's telling her story, which was basically exactly what happened. Unless, you know, there was some other stuff that they did not show, basically. She had a little... Um, charity event. Kenya came. She misspoken and called her Miss America when she is Miss USA. Kenya got mad. She was complaining how she was cold. She was complaining that there was no people of to her standard that were there. She was acting very rude. She went outside and left. That's basically what happened. She was acting rude throughout. Kenya takes offense to how Portia feels. Yes. Yeah, I heard me right. She takes offense to have Portia. And Portia's like, this is how I feel. I don't know how you feel. I'm telling you how I feel. So Kenya, she gets up and talking about some... She goes on the defense. Okay? Wouldn't like it. The whole thing was just messed up. Then they got to calling each other out their names. Portia's in this gone with the wind moment, twirling around. They're both yelling at each other and Nene is trying to calm Kenya down. She didn't him the real for a second. Like, just be quiet. Be quiet. This is how she feels. You can't get mad at how she feels. If she felt you were being rude, that's her feeling. That's her opinion. That's, you know, her prerogative. She couldn't feel that way. You may have a different feeling. But if you would shut up and tell us your side of the story, we can get together with this. Phaedra, she's just sitting there. Her lips at one point was doing that Mr. Ed thing where they be just moving. Yes. That was kind of mean. But y'all know Phaedra's lips be having like a mind of their own. They just be... I can't do it, but her lips just be like this and stuff. Candy, she's all like, oh my goodness. This is why Ty didn't want to come because of the drama. Kenya's had to walk upstairs and she does this twirl again. She twirls as she's walking off. It was just weird. And Portia's like, if she put her hands on me, it's gonna, I'm going to sue her, basically. And Kenya's like, you know, you're using what your grandfather did 40 years ago. But if his shirt is still going, it's, a, you know, irrelevant. You know, it's something. I can't think of the word right now. But it, it's relevant. That's what I was thinking of. You being Miss USA back in 1993, when half the people didn't know that, I didn't know. But you mad because of that? He's like, well, you're bringing something happened back to your grandfather 40 years ago. That's not relevant. 
I guess because she said that you ain't no longer relevant. But Kenya, I mean, she sit down somewhere. And next week is going to be real good because Walter finds out that Kenya been lying all the way through. So, yeah. That was basically the gist of the episode. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.